Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and welcome to our channel Technical Spark Friends initially as a promise I decided to create video on DLP agent package creation as well as the deployment However in my previous video I have received a couple of emails comments as well as you know uh, telegram messages that they are facing some issue because they are testing this particular product in their lab which is restricted environment and they after integration of active directory as well as user directory configuration they are not able to view the users to create administrator so that's the reason in this particular video we'll focus on ldap configurations as well as administrator creation through your active directory so let me show you practically how exactly this can be configured after this small introduction video Welcome back guys. Now let me launch our FSM console and enter the credentials and hit on enter. Once you sign in then as I shown you very first what you will have to do you will have to make sure that your active directory is properly configured. If I do test connection it will fail because every time you want to do a test connection you will have to enter the password. Okay so testing is successful but I don't have to worry about it but if you want you can click on okay which means save now go next chapter we'll have to go to the general and then make sure that our active directory is properly configured so if i go to the this particular column then test connection is successful so here i don't have to make any changes however if you want to use you know get additional attributes then those can be entered here now if i click on new then here is the one domino option available guys if you are using domino uh, you know ibm domino then while you know entering the username make sure that you should not enter any user which start with the a but if in case if you are still using the user which has the a at the in initially then you will have to take a help of force point support team otherwise you can enter any name which start with let's, let's say sohan okay in the below format Okay, so that's how your directory will be configured. Now let me cancel this. So the first thing is clear. If you are using Active Directory, then there is no need to worry about it. The configuration is straightforward. But if you are using Domino, then there is a one precaution which has to be think before you enter the user details. Now once this thing is clear, then when I go to the administrator, okay, where is the administrator option is available inside this. If I click on add network account then at the very bottom I can see the users which is available in my active directory however it's not all okay just about 2 to 3 users are showing now I will show you why exactly it's not showing all users into the add network accounts which means this all user accounts are imported from the active directory it's not the manual import it's automatic it's the, you know our postman console fetch users from the active directory so to check out that what we'll have to go do is we'll have to go to our domain controller server or you can say active directory server okay so this is my active directory server let's open the ad once it's open let me maximize this see guys yep user 1 yep user 2 and so on goalie these three users we have seen in our force point security manager console right but the other users like spark okay this is not reflecting why because if i open my other three users then though these three users has the email id intact you can check out here email id right and this is a third one this particular user also has the email id so what we'll basically do we'll create one more user okay but let me show you this spark id as well sorry this ID does not have any email ID. So just for your demonstration purpose, I'll create one more user, yep user 3. Okay. And next, let's give one password. Password never expire. Finish. So this particular user has been created. But the only thing is we'll here for this particular user will add the email id okay now click on apply and okay 
Okay, so as per our, uh, you know, as I uh, told you previously, this user should get reflected into our force point security console. Now, let me create one more user. And for this user, uh, I will not provide any email ID. So that we'll get to know what is wrong with the console and your question and uh, you know will get answered in this particular scenario now let me enter the password next next perfect so this for yep user 4 does not have any email id and yep 3 is having the email id and for spark also what we'll do we'll just add one email id so that it will also get reflect to our Postpone security manager console apply and ok so as per our current configuration only this particular yep user 4 should not reflect ok because is this uh, this particular id does not have any email id associated with this account rest of the all user account should get reflect so let's check that by going into the Postpone security manager console now here to you know synchronize your or import your users what we will have to do is we will have to go to the data inside the data this is the one active directory so let's uh, right now the synchronization time configured is 3 o'clock and 8 minutes but right now the timing is 4 16 so what i'll do i'll just make this timing to 4 20 pm and click on ok so that at 4 20 this particular synchronization task will run and it will import all the latest users which is available so let's wait for that guys now the timing is 420 now let me simply go to the administrators and check out whether the newly added users are appearing here or not see yep user 1 2 3 sohan gole and spark this five users have added here automatically right along with their email id now let's go back to our active directory server so guys check out here one two three sohan gole and spark these five users have added into the force point security manager except this fourth user because it doesn't have any email id so hopefully when you are going to test this particular scenario in your test lab you should must add email id when you are creating account okay so i believe that you got the answer of your question now let's go back to the epsm server so if you want to create any administrator or provide access to any user so what you will have to do is you can simply select that particular user in my case a scenario i am selecting sohanji add it that particular user to the right side okay and then click on okay so my this particular user has been added by default the role is which is get assigned is global security administrator okay and for any reason if you want to delete uh, that particular user to which you have given the access you can simply select this uh, you know tick mark this and click on delete okay so we have added so now to assign the proper permissions i am going to do to the data under data we will have to go to the administrators click on the sohanji which is recently uh, we have added and for this sohanji what we'll do we can select the another level of permissions for example default role okay and click on okay so whenever you add any user okay make sure you are selecting appropriate role to that particular user and you can also select one additional thing which is indicate whether you want to add a record to audit log each time this administrator views incident details because in dlp the very critical part is incidents right which can which may be contains user confidential information so do you want to you know create audit logs so creating ticket tick marking this option is always be a beneficial now let me click on ok so i have given the appropriate permission to this particular user now if i go to the roles you can see these are the roles are available this particular role has the full control okay so it can do anything however there are you know couple of other rules are also available so based on your requirement you can always play with these settings or you can also create one additional role like by clicking on new provide some name and customize right so what are the things you want to give access to that particular role so this is how you can select okay 
restricted, read only, view. Okay, so uh, once you selected appropriate things, then click on save and that particular role will get saved. And then you have the permission to change the role. Okay, like this. And from here also, you can you know, create a fresh role and view the uh, you know, permission which is available for this particular default role. Okay, so hopefully uh, the integration part as well as how to create, you know, map user with a particular permission set role, those things are clear with this video. Now I'll try to log in using that URL uh, user account which we have just mapped with our postponed DLB. So for that, let me enter my username. Although username is not case sensitive, so don't worry about that. See, I have successfully logged in with my Sohanji account. And as per the default role, these are the only few things which I'm allowed to view and not all. So you can always play with the settings, okay, as per your requirement and utilize this particular console as much as possible. Guys, in this particular video, some of the fellow members have, you know, highlighted that they are facing some issue. And just because I haven't prepared any video on that particular topic, so I have immediately covered those things in this particular video. So if you guys are also encounter some kind of issue and wanted to highlight me immediately, then you can also become a member of my channel. For that, once you visit my this particular link, Technical Spark, you can open this on your PC as well as mobile. Okay under the YouTube app and there is a join button available okay so once you click on join button there's a small you know very tiny membership fee available 89 rupees Indian or you can say one USD dollar and with this you will get the early access to my new videos because as you know that I'm publishing videos every Tuesday and Friday two videos in a week but if in case if you want to access my videos little faster than this particular starter membership you will get access to my all the latest videos which is available on the channel and for merchandise also i'll very soon i'll be you know creating my own merchandise so that is also you will be able to take benefit of so hopefully now you have also got it how to become a member of my channel if you found this useful then please give me a thumbs up and again don't forget to subscribe and share this video with all your friends and colleagues so that they will also learn this technology. So guys, that's it in this video. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the new video. Till then, bye-bye.